Hi, I'm Lindsay Hyman and I'm a sports physiologist here at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. What we're about to go view today is our sports sciences area, which includes sports physiology, sports psychology, sports nutrition, and sports technology. So we have quite a few different areas that we work with our athletes. This whole wing of our complex is devoted to really gaining the extra 1%. As we go through our facility, you might see some pictures on the walls. And a lot of the pictures that we have are athletes really winning by just a margin, just by a hundredth of a second or a fraction in mean, their overall performance. And that's really what we try to do here, is really make sure that we're getting the most out of our athletes and getting them on the podium for Rio. So right now, this is our, what we call our athlete performance zone. And we have a few pieces of key equipment here. The first one is our Alter-G, or our anti-gravity treadmill. So what, how this treadmill works is we get an athlete in it and they actually zip themselves up in a, I don't know, like a kayak type of skirt. And this whole treadmill blows up. And we can take off the weight of the athlete. So you can actually run at 60% of your body weight or 40% of your body weight or even 90% of your body weight. The way we use it up here is for performance. So if we have our marathon athletes or distance endurance running athletes and they want to increase their mileage from 75 miles a week up to 90 miles a week, we might have them go into this treadmill at about 90% of their body weight and increase their mileage without the risk of injury. So we're about to go into our high altitude training center, our Hatsi room. So come on inside with me. Right now we're in our Hatsi room and the actual le elevation is at sea level. We're about zero feet above sea level. So outside those walls, we're at 6,300 feet. And just by walking through those two doors, we've changed 6,000 feet of elevation. In this room, we can do a few different things with our athletes. We have one area that we call live high and train low, which you can see by some of our images on the walls. And for that purpose, it allows our athletes to make the most of their training while living and training in Colorado Springs. Another way that we use this room is for heat acclimatization. So for our athletes that are preparing for Rio, we'll change the environmental condition of this room to really match what we're going to see and expect in Rio for the Summer Olympics. As you can see, there's a lot of different moving parts going on behind the scenes with our Team USA, but we hope that you can cheer us on as we go to Rio.